season. I'm talking about the FANG stocks. This is a key earnings season for them. Uh, what what will they say? This is going to be an interesting one. They've been the sure things for basically the better part of a decade, but a lot of them are down on the year here in 2022. Some have gotten kind of dirt cheap. Others, not so much. But what are they saying about the global economy? We still have COVID out there. We still have COVID restrictions going on across the globe. Are they seeing supply chain issues? What's happening with the consumer? Let's take a deeper dive and see who has good earnings uh, charts with these bank stocks and which ones you should really be focusing on. So as I said, we all own the FANG stacks. Either you own them individually, as I own some of them, or you own them in the S&P 500 and the triple Qs, but you're going to own them somewhere. So let's start off with Meta Platforms, ticker FB. We're just going to start off with the former Facebook, and it is coming off a miss last quarter. Mostly Nobody cared about that because they're more worried about the uh, massive spend that's going to be happening to transform Facebook into the meta platforms, basically, and the metaverse. So this stock has really come down, as we all know. Year to date, it's down about 34%. It is off those lows that it went under that 200 level but um, you know, can it hold this? I don't know. It's now trading at about 17.7 times its forward earnings. Revenue still expected to be up double digits here in 2022, up 12% with another revenue gain of 17% in 2023. But people really focused on that decline in the earnings estimates that's expected here in 2022 is those earnings decline on the bigger spend. Is this one that's going to surprise the street this quarter because all the bad news is already priced in? I don't know, but it is the cheapest now of the FANG stocks. And so it's looking a little juicy here down under 20 times. I already own this in my personal portfolio. Um, and I know many of you do too. And so this is gonna be a key one to watch, obviously this earning season. Now we're gonna turn to the one that is still the darling, Apple. A uh, look at that chart, no misses in five years. So a, a tremendous earnings surprise track record throughout the pandemic, still meeting or beating. Now the larger green area, arrows mean a bigger beat. So we have bigger, uh, Beats here, this was a 40% last year. This was a 30%, but a little bit smaller here starting in January at just 11%. Now, this is one of the few that hasn't really seen the big sell-off. It was down, I think, about 12% off its highs at one point, but has rebounded now. Now down just 4.2% year-to-date. So still trading with a pretty high valuation for Apple at 27.6 times. Revenue for fiscal 2022 only expected to be up single digits, just 8.6%. And even a further slowdown in fiscal 2023 with revenue up just 6.7%. Another key question for Apple is how are the China COVID slowdowns impacting the supply chain and their business over in China and manufacturing? These are all unknowns. So uh, this is going to be an important earnings season with these shares still very elevated and still trading near that $3 trillion market cap. Uh, the It does pay that dividend, but it's yielding just 0.5% now, so not really even a dividend play at these levels. Can it hold on or break out again here in 2022? There's a lot of believers, so uh, this is, again, a key earnings report. Then we're let's switch over to the other A, Amazon, uh, ticker AMZN, of course, and this is a, a different story. It was a pandemic winner initially in 2020, broke out to those new highs, and then continues to just tread water. It's very interesting to see it do this for this length of time, even on these big beats. So last quarter, it had this big beat here of uh, 613%. So it's not, you know, having a bad earnings surprise track record here, but still the street's still kind of down on these shares. 
Uh, year to date, they're down 7.4%. So not a huge sell off here, trading at 59 times, which is historically one of the lower PE ratios for Amazon, but of course, still a really sky high PE ratio. But revenue looking pretty good. 2022 revenue still expected to be up 15% and up another 17% in 2023, even with the massive size of this company still doing double digit revenue growth, but shares still not really seeing a catalyst here. But uh, we'll see if Jassy can turn this around now that he's in charge. He's got a few new initiatives kind of going on and we'll see if the street kind of uh, decides that it's been enough in this narrow trading range. But Amazon, definitely one to watch. Uh, also for the strength of the consumer, what is happening out there? Is the consumer still spending even with these inflationary pressures? Then let's switch over to the one that's really getting hammered here in 2022, Netflix, NFLX. It's down 40% year to date now. The huge plunge on uh, the subscriber misses basically. So the earnings beat or miss isn't really the key metric for Netflix as we all know. It's are they still growing that subscriber base? Now, even with the big decline in the shares this year, they're still expensive trading at 32 times forward earnings. Revenue for 2022, however, still expected to be up double digits at 12%. And similar revenue growth, again, expected in 2023 at another 12%. So not really seeing a dramatic slowdown in revenue growth, but uh, people just still concerned about those subscribers and the competition with Disney+, Plus, Hulu, Apple, all of these uh, streaming services. Can Netflix still come out on top even with its big spending budget? Uh, those are all questions that everyone will be asking. Now, Netflix will be the first of the things to report. So this is going to kind of set the tone and we'll see if it can get some kind of catalyst on this earnings report to uh, boost these stocks a little bit, this stock a little bit here in 2022. Then we're going to wrap it up with Alphabet. This other than Apple is the other big winner of the FANG stocks. It will benefit from the um, reopening of the economy, which is why it was a pandemic winner. And also on the travel side, they do make a lot of revenue off of travel. And that is still holding up, even with these inflationary pressures and the rise in crude prices. So um, this one is also interesting because these shares are down 8% year to date. Trading now at about 23 times forward earnings, that is pretty cheap on a historical basis for Alphabet. And that's even with revenue still expected to do double digits in 2022, still expected to be up almost 18%. So they are expected to be the biggest revenue growth of the fangs of the five. And 2023, another 16%. So we're still not seeing, even with the huge market cap, a decline back into the single digits for Alphabet. Not yet. It will happen at some point. It just will. It will become Apple at some point. But so far, it's not there. And it's still cheaper than Apple. No dividend, but they are doing the big share buyback. So um, Alphabet, definitely one to watch because it's been one of the more positive of the FANG stories here in uh, late 2021 into 2022, but still treading water here and beginning to look a little bit like the Amazon chart a bit. So I'm not sure what that means for these shares going forward, but still on a PE basis, much cheaper than Amazon and uh, definitely one that everybody is going to be watching this earnings season. So out of the five fangs, I own three in my own personal portfolio. I own Meta, I own Amazon, and I own Alphabet. I'm sure there are some of you who own all five of the fangs. And like I said, if you own the S&P 500 or the triple Qs or just any big cap fund, you're going to own one or all of these uh, fangs as well. So we're all in it and we all want to see what's going to happen this quarter they will set the tone because they are global and just so massive and we all use their products and or own these stocks. So this is going to be a key quarter for some of these stocks, whether or not they can get a bounce off this earnings report. I don't know. We're going to see, 
but a few of them, like I said, Meta and even Alphabet are pretty cheap here on a forward PE basis and still have that nice revenue growth. So that's an interesting combination. And we'll see what the street does this quarter and what's said on those conference calls. And as always, I'm going to be bringing you all of these earnings charts all season long. There's more than just the FANGs because there are the FANG man stocks, which include the FANGs plus some of the other hotties like Microsoft, Tesla, Shopify, you know the ones, the big cap growth. And so you want to be sure to get all of our earnings all-star videos and all of our charts. Get them on our YouTube channel. I'm going to be bringing you these videos all earnings season long. Get it at zax.com slash YouTube. And as always, I'll see you again next time with some more earnings charts.